Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, in the last video, we conquered the inside of the Great Deku Tree, and sadly, the Great Deku Tree passed away. So, in this video, guys, we are heading for Hyrule Castle. So, yeah. And I have changed back to my Blue Yeti microphone. The other microphone, it's it's only directional. Like, this one is... My Blue Yeti is just way better, so I'm just going to use that one. And then we see Surya pop up. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you were different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. She, she goes ahead and gives us her fairy ocarina. Alright, she gives the fairy ocarina. It's a memento from Saria. Or Saria. Saria, I don't... I'm gonna say sorry, yeah. So yeah, I've been playing this on 3DS, so I'm gonna be so much more used to doing these controls with the uh, the buttons. So yeah. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. So it's real sad because the two of them are very good friends, and then he just leaves. So the way he backs up, it almost looks like he's freaked out by her, but I think it was Nintendo's intention of trying to say, like, he was upset that he had to leave. You know, he wasn't freaked out by her, because it just looked that way when I, when I uh, watch that scene every time. So here's an overview of Hyrule Field. And there is Kabora Gabora, which is the owl that's going to guide us on our journey. Basically, he lets us know that we're heading in the right direction. So we head forward, and then he stops us. Hoo-hoo, Link, look up here. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your, your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown, blah blah blah, skip all that. Did you get all that? Yes. Oh, god! <laughs> oh, I used the d-pad by accident, guys, sorry. Alright then, see you around. Hoot hoot ho! Alright. Alright, so that's that, and now we're gonna head straight for, um... Hyrule or Castle Town, and we're gonna head straight for it. Don't take the pathway, cut off, and go straight for that area. What I like to do is I back, backing, going backwards is faster. You run twice as fast because you know naturally whenever it gets nighttime, the gate closes. So as you guys can see, it's already getting dark. So if you do it this way, you can actually get there faster. See, it's already getting dusk. Dusk is approaching. And you can actually get there just in time. See, the sun goes down very quickly in this game. I kind of wish in this game you could actually slow down time. Like in Majora's Mask, but you can't. So we stand right in the middle of here, right at the gate. This will actually raise up. There's actually 20 rupees we can get off of the top of the gate. So, we just stand up here. Oh, no! Great. Well, now we gotta survive the night. Ooh, it's running bad. Well, not good. Yeah, the game's running a little slow. If you spawn right here by the um, water, some of the Skatula kids, or Stout children, will spawn in the water, as you'll see. Let's see? They start spawning in the water, so basically you can... They only spawn in front of you, so they're just going to spawn in the water now, so... 
So this is just a good way to get them off your tail. As we sit here and wait for dawn to approach. So just keep looking towards the gate, then they'll spawn in that area. Because they only spawn in front of you is what is what it works how it works. They never spawn behind you. So as soon as I change my view, watch what's gonna happen. See? So I'm just gonna do this just to get a few rupees and stuff. Yeah. But Dawn is approaching, so but it happens. Alright. So they go back down to the ground. So yeah, this was not the intention to be um here like this guys. So yeah. So we're gonna have to basically use kill time. We're gonna before we go into castle time, we're gonna go into here. Gonna go this way. Pick these pots to get some rupees, because this room is just full of pots, and the guards like, you know, oh I hope someone doesn't come in here and smash all the pots. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a little entertainment because his job is boring. He's literally just guarding pots. I don't know. He gets the worst job. He has the most boring job. So yeah, if you roll into this crate right here, there will be a gold scatula. So we're gonna collect that token. Number four. So we'll just roll into these. Right, and that's all we have to do. So basically, we need to go out into the uh, courtyard area to get time to pass. Because unfortunately, when you're in Castle Town, time doesn't pass. Because I messed it up, now we're going to have to spend two days wasted. Is basically the idea. Because we need to get Mal on there to come out here to this area. But she doesn't come out here until night time. Because I guess she's not allowed to... I don't know if it's that she just doesn't like... I don't know. It's weird. Hey Link, this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Hoo hoo. On this ground, time flows normally, but time stands still while you are in Longland Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Hoo, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Hoo hoo. So yeah, if we stay in this area, time will flow normally. So if we roll into this tree, there's actually another gold scatula. This is number five. So we're just gonna collect that token. Like I said, guys, I'm only gonna collect up to 50 gold scatula tokens. There's 100 in the game. You can collect them all if you want. I only collect up to 50 because personally, I don't see a point in collecting them after 50 because I'm doing it for a heart piece. So. Since we're up here, we're going to try to make our way up there, even though we can't make progress because we need Malon to be in this area. But if I feel that if you move around, you probably can actually get time to move faster. So we just need to get time to move pat by, so we're just going to skip past these guys. Make our way over there, we might as well. But well, we're going to get caught on purpose because I need time to flow normally because, like I said, I missed the chance to get inside of Castle Town at nighttime, which is when we're supposed to be in here. We're supposed to be in here at nighttime, but it's daytime, so we have to kill time. Because uh, Malon's father is up ahead and he's blocking the pathway to get inside of the castle, so yeah. So we're just going to jump in the water here, just do this because... Normally you won't have to do this because time is gonna f you sh if you get inside at nighttime like you were supposed to and not stand on the edge like I was being an idiot, uh, you'll be fine. But unfortunately, I don't have any songs to I don't have the sun song, so I can't change time. So, so we're just gonna go over here. There's Malon's father. Might as well get these in position. Alright, so now that's becoming dusk. 
I'm gonna go back out over there and get caught on purpose. This is what you can do if you end up coming here during daytime, because like I said, you need to be here during nighttime. So we're gonna wait till it to be dusk. Just stand here real quick. As soon as we hear the howl, we get caught. Hello! Hey you! Stop! You kid over there! So when we respawn, Malone will be in this area. And that's the idea, is we need to get her to come out here. Alright. Hey, your clothes. They're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Long on Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give you this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Teehee. So we got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. So it's literally a, a cuckoo egg. And for some reason, as soon as it hatches, it becomes a full-grown cuckoo. So it's like, weird. So now we're going to start making our way back up the ladder, or the, um, to the area. Because once you do that, time starts flowing by faster. <coughs> so we're going to come across here. Cut across this area. Oh, I got caught. Whoops. I was too far to the left. Let's try that again. I need to make sure that I'm over this hill before uh, dawn, because I'll end up running out of time to get um, into the castle before nightfall, because when it becomes nightfall, you can't actually get inside of the castle, because it, um, it's full of guards that block the area. Just do like that to make sure that I'm not going to actually get anything happening. Jump down. And now Dawn is coming. Cut across here like so. Go wide. And then it will be morning. Like I said, you won't have to deal with having to do this as long as you get into the town at nighttime on that first time going towards it. So a chicken hatch. So it's a full grown cuckoo. Don't know how they grow that fast, but hey. It's a video game. So let's go ahead and equip it. Or chicken, but it's technically called a cuckoo. I don't know why they called it chicken. Because it's technically referred to... Chickens are referred to as cuckoo in this game. So we can get some more rupees. These actually respawn for some weird reason. If, by just by getting kicked out of the area. They respawn. So we're going to go over here. And the box is reset as well, so... Bought this, and... Hey, wake up! What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shot-eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. So then he runs away. I f and I feel like the, uh, Talon's character is very reminiscent of Mario. I think they did that on purpose. He's got a big nose. Because, you know, everyone in this game is basically of our Hylians or Elves, you know. And not everyone, but like most of the townsfolk, regular people are... Um, elves, so it's funny how he has a big nose like Mario. So I think that we're trying to like give kind of like a little uh, detail of Mario in here when this game was created. So who knows? We're gonna pull these boxes to this area here and be able to get across. Alright, 
jump across here. So like I said, if you come here at nighttime, this area will be full of guards. And you will not be able to get past. So we have to wait here, make sure we don't get caught. So this block and wait here. Don't go forward because he will catch you. Let's go around. And if you time it just right, you'll be able to get past. Ooh. You'll be able to get past these guys very quickly. And this guy, you'll have to wait because he's going to need to go to the other side. And don't be tempted to grab any of those rupees. Just don't. And sometimes those rupees are different. Normally they're not all green. It's like red, blue, green. It's like all of the types. Ooh, okay, yep. Ooh, almost got caught. Yeah, don't do it. So we're just gonna let these guys pass. Be patient. Don't go forward. Until he moves. Let's get over here. And then go. And we should be able to just make a run for this right now. Go, 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 go! Ha ha! They can't catch me now. Now they're completely out of the blind zone. So now we're gonna go towards the courtyard and meet Zelda. So she's right up ahead. Hey, Zelda. Who? Who are you? How'd you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then, are you... Are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yes. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest and parted the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story that I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link? Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. So it tells the legend over again and gives a little bit more detail. Three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, it will be consumed by evil, that is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. 
Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window, Adam? Yes. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, I believe they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can't sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. So there's actually a chance that if you say no to every option of listening to her, you can actually ruin the game and not progress any further. You'll have to reload the game. Thank you, because I tried it one time just to be mean, and when you say I don't believe you, she gets really emotional and upset, and then she doesn't talk to you anymore. I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. So she gives us a letter to give to a guard to get up to Death Mountain, which is the next destination. Excuse me. So then we can run forward and we see Impa. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Zelda's Lullaby, which is actually, oddly enough, the notes are in the shape of the Triforce, so yeah. Learn Zelda's Lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You're a brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn it, the song. 
Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle for the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Alright. Then she disappears. And now I'm on my own. Alrighty guys, well that is going to do it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the next video we will head over to Kakariko and Lon Lon Ranch to get a couple of items. So yeah, so thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. If you have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see or have any other games that you would like me to play on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.